in Alaska in 1959 when it was still a, uh, a territory of the United States and not a state. But if I may say one thing with all of you need people here tonight, I go back with Fred, I go back with Fred and, and uh, Marv and Jim to the early days of their club. I recall when uh, we thought we would never get to 25 regular members, then St. Charles raised it to 50, and it was some years, Jim, if you remember, before we got to 100 regular, regular members. I recall well when we had an annual budget of $7,800 uh, was our annual budget for the Pope and Young Club. And of course, Kevin and Glenn buy more postage stamps uh, per month probably than our entire annual budget. But it's neat to see all you people. And in my lifetime, I've seen this club grow from its infancy to this wonderful group of men and women here today. And I'm encouraged uh, having the, the present board and the committee meetings that have uh, been going on these last two days. The future of the Pope and Young Club is very secure, and it's all because of you wonderful men and women that are here today. And I congratulate you uh, on your devotion and support of this wonderful club. Thank you. I think it's drinking time now and dancing time now. We've heard about the old pokies. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right, we got one more thing. We're going to close it out. We got a uh, request for Mr. Asbell to tell us the radiator theory where you unzip the radiator and cool it off. Go ahead. Gene and Barry Winslow. 
and everybody would just break up laughing and I would be relaxed and I would just swing into my talk and everybody would just laugh. Well, but, <laughs> so, what happened was I went to the banquet and I went on like Thursday and I stood in my room the whole weekend. It was the, the bank was on Saturday night. And I stood in front of the mirror and I memorized this whole thing. Had it all written out at the Indianapolis Boat and Travel Show, blah, 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 blah. And I didn't. I stood in front of it. I was just terrified. Well, on Saturday night, I went down finally to the banquet. And I get there and I am, I mean, I am terrified. And Gene comes walking in and he said, hey, just got here. Uh, need to change my clothes, let me borrow the key to your room. Which I gave him the key to my room. Not thinking that my whole talk was spread out all over the bed. <laughs> anyway, when they introduced me to do my talk, Gene, and I mean, I was ready to die. I mean, I just, I, I would have accepted a heart attack if it would had just come and would have kept me from talking. And he gets up and the first thing he says is, the first time I met Fred Asphalt, was at the Indianapolis Boat and Travel Show. And Barry and I didn't know anything, and we were really dumb. And here he is, you know. And I could have just, I could have just died. Absolutely, I got up there and I stumbled around and muttered, and finally, I, I don't know, I may have even thrown up, I'm not sure. But to this day, Gene has never admitted that he did that. But, uh, oh, I've got my whole life passed in front of me. <laughs> That's great. I'd like to thank you those guys for coming up and uh, thank everybody for coming out to the PMY Bank with this year's tremendous turnout. Like I said, everything's sold out. The future is secure, just like Harv said. And uh, enjoy the next day and a half. So meet as many people as you can because that's really what this whole thing is all about.